Hello everyone, Lord Hamster here. I'm playing Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I had started, or I thought I had started recording earlier, but I didn't. So, just some basics. I went with the basic start, except instead of the shelter, I'm in a house. Um, the player stuff. This is my, my stats. My traits are down here. It's pretty self-explanatory why I went with most of these. And then... My skills are fairly basic, so I probably could have cut back on survival if I both this is a preset and it just didn't mess with it. So I've got almost none of this down here, though there are plenty of books. And right now I'm trying to get everything I need to make a bindle because... I haven't found any backpacks or anything else, so Bindle is the best thing I have available. Let's grab that Bindle. That way I have room for other stuff. <laughs> Let's see what else we can make. Um, to hit bonus plus one. To hit plus two. Okay, nah, I'll keep with my still chain for now. Some sweet water. Oh. Um. I've already got plenty of stuff there, so. How much encumbrance? No, zero. So I'll make a rag tunic. Oh. Uh-oh. It didn't notice this message. And while I'm recording, the game lags a little bit, so right now it's just doing a not responding while it's loading. So, let's just wait through this. Okay, there we go. The car's battery dies. Okay. So let's... We have that. Is there a way to see encumbrance here? Yes. Apparently, got one encumbrance on my hand and foot. So let's take off um, the glove liners. Drop. Let's see what happens. Okay. Ah, stop it. How much encumbrance is the bindle worth? Three on the hands. The gloves are worth two. I guess I'll take off the gloves for now. And what's the weight volume on this? Four. Mm. Um, yeah, let's just drop this, and then I'll go ahead and craft just a pointy stick. It's a stick, and it's pointy. Keep it in my pocket for now. I look like a hobo now with my knit hat and my bindle. This is a big town. I think this is the biggest one I've seen so far. I do have some mods enabled, I don't remember all of them, but one of them is the abandoned pizzeria that may or may not be haunted by evil animatronics. The only one I've ever found in game didn't actually have anything in it, but I found it at like noon, so maybe that was it. Oh hey, a rock. I'll need one of those. Yes, I know it is. Head up here. Let's get inside where it's not as windy. Oh, hey, some actual zombies. This game's been strangely devoid of them. Oh, S a swimmer zombie this far inland? I mean, I know that this map has a pretty big river system somewhere. It's definitely not this area, but it's out there somewhere. I don't know why the. Oh, I wonder if there's any pipes. 
Well, let's see if there's anything I can craft from the middle of all this junk that's actually useful. <clears throat> An improvised pick lock. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Let's try it. I've never had much luck with these, but they aren't supposed to be very good. You're supposed to actually use official ones. And I damage my tool. It stumps my efforts. It stumps my efforts. It stumps my efforts. I'd rather not have to break it. Well. Uh, that door is on fire now. I'm gonna get away from this building. Head west. So now that it's on fire, it's probably just gonna burn down entirely. I need to find something to get a pipe from. Or just find a pipe. I can make a makeshift crowbar. That's one of the advantages of the normal, quote unquote, normal start. I'll take a sci-fi novel. Those other things don't interest me right now. As I always, as I almost always carry a backup weapon. If I don't, I'm usually carrying stuff I can use to make a backup weapon. Or a makeshift emergency weapon. Beret. By the way, I'm using the chest hole tile set, which seems to be the most complete one that's currently available and might be wrong. I'm only using it because while there is a certain classic feel to the um, ASCII character set, it bugs me if in prolonged play times. I like to play for, if I'm going to play this, I want to sit down for a good amount of time and play it. Dust. I usually never find this many dust, dust, dust masks. Ugh, don't know why that tripped me up so much. Ooh, some canned tomato. I'm gonna be hungry soon. I want an actual backpack though. I can drop this bindle and stop wearing it. Grab for the rag tunic though. It does help soak up a little bit of damage. Wow. And another house that has basically nothing in it. Okay. Actually. There. So if I, as I'm going to use one of these empty houses as my base of operations to build up and eventually. So if it's that one, I want some of the windows pre-blocked. I oh know, wind, cold hand. So many people lock their doors in the zombie apocalypse. Marbles, a matchbook, I'll take that, it doesn't take up very much room. An empty can. Not sure I'll smash through at this part. Oh, I cut my hand. That's what you get for having to constantly just smash in like that. Close, close. Lawful iron. Ooh, steak knife. Did, did I already get one? I did. So I can probably drop the pocket knife. <clears throat> Zero volumes, almost no weight versus. Yeah, no, it's a good backup. Um, a radiated orange. I don't want to mutate just yet. Hey, potato chips, though. Looks like someone made the last stand here, maybe, and then ran. Yeah, let's unlock these doors. Wait. Oh. Little zombie, come on. Get in here. You're being slow. Okay. Um, where's my pointy stick? There's my pointy stick. Not the best weapon, but it's good enough. Oh, he bit my leg. Well, let's hope it doesn't get infected. Let's butcher him so he doesn't come back. Ooh, coughs are up. I'll butcher everything else for rags. I don't need any of it. I haven't figured out what to do with the bones yet, except maybe needles. They can make bone needles, I think. Um, tools. Um, medical. Oh, my tubes.
I usually don't get to where I'm actually building a proper base, but it's best to th start looking at these things ahead of time. Uh, I do want to eventually make one of these. They're going to be helpful. Apparently there's a stone shovel and a stone axe you can make, but I've never figured out how to make them. Which also means I've never found the book that teaches you how. I know you can make wood needles. I don't know why you can't make bone ones. Because if I remember correctly, that's what we originally used for them. But, <clears throat> I don't know everything, so... I might be wrong. No medicine in the bathroom? Some bathrooms open up and there's like medicine everywhere. Well, I might as well drink from it. Yes. And I got food poisoning. Yeah, that's the worst you get from drinking a toilet, apparently. A little bit of food poisoning. Who knew? That they're so safe, relatively, to drink from. This place is a bit too big, in my taste, for a basic starting base. I'm gonna have to pick somewhere, so... What's a different color? Oh, it's a gas station. A gas station... It was either gas station or... Just a really, like, cheap, cheap, kind of bad um, convenience store where I found that power armor. It was, and it had all the power in it, too. Or, I think it used power, anyway. Well, it is called power armor, but I've only ever had it the one time. I died of an infection before I could use it, so. Okay, let's just walk out the front door. This is the way to the front door, right? Oh, autosave. Let's pause the game for a minute when I'm recording. Here's hoping it doesn't get too terribly bad. <clears throat> so if it comes down to it, I might have to do sleeping in between episodes. And then start once I'm done sleeping. If something happens when I wake up, I'll start recording then. Oh yeah, here's the front door. <laughs> oh, it's a radio station. There's a person up here. I don't know who it is. Can I see them? No, I can't. This for whatever reason they appear under monsters. I, I guess it should be... I think it should be renamed to units if potentially friendly things appear under there. Like survivors you can talk to. Oh, there appears to be zombies here. Oh, is that a tough zombie? I think it's a tough zombie. Yes. He bit my head. Well. I'm hungry. I'm uh, hungry while I was killing a zombie. Okay. What's my morale at? That's what I meant. Huh. Well, I know that killing child zombies can affect your morale pretty badly, so... Let's hope we don't have to kill that little child zombie. I don't want to have to deal with the character depressed. Uh oh. Normal zombies. Uh, more bites. At least they know them say they feel pretty deep. Those are the ones that almost always get infected. It's butcher. You need to butcher the dead zombies, otherwise they come back. Uh, yeah, let's just break into the bathroom. Vitamins. Aspirin. Saline solution. I can use that to make bandages. More aspirin. Some cotton balls. Maybe we can make the bandages right here now. Um, I've got the cotton balls. I need something to put it hold it together. Unfortunately, I don't. Clothes, clothes. Sneakers. Oh, scissors, yes. Cola. Cola. Let's eat a little bit and drink. Yes. And um. Eat that. Oh. When they say toaster paste here, I think of like a pop tart, and pop tarts are pretty good uncooked. Let's eat some ravioli instead. And then drop the. I do like keeping around some of this stuff, but right now I just don't have the room. 
Yeah, this is one of the. I yeah, that's one of the things I don't think are fully complete. Maybe I can disassemble this. Oh, it does tell me time. That's helpful. I usually have a pocket or wristwatch by now that does that for me. I know, soda. That'd be nice to have, but I don't have the room for it at the moment. No, oh. Yeah, I need better storage. Have I ever found anything to do with the soap bars yet? Is this an empty can, or is it actually condensed milk? I'm surprised it's fresh, because... On the intro of the game and the in the state of the city, it feels like this is several days or weeks into the. Wait, am I? Oh, I ended up breaking into a house right next to the gas station that apparently had. Okay, I thought I was in the gas station. I was like, this is the weirdest gas station I've ever been in. How to explain the bed? I'm gonna have to call this episode quits here shortly. I don't know when I'll be able to record again, but eventually I will. Uh, what the? Oh, an iBot. Is that what this is? Oh, that's just the dick gasoline tank. Is iBot hostile? It's not. <laughs> This spheroid a robot hovers above the ground, so when it is to the carnage and mayhem around it. Okay. This is also, I think, the only gas station I've ever seen that's just literally gas. There's no building to go inside of. Huh. Maybe that's why I thought that that building down there was the gas station. Guess I'm just used to convenience stores. Ooh, first aid kit. They take up like no room and they're so handy. I don't like driving the vehicles, they're lagging even when I don't have the recording up. Might just be my bad computer, but. Let's see. I'm going to make my way like slowly down here, maybe base myself in this garage. Lots of open room, lots of houses nearby. But I am still way up here. I've got a lot of stuff to go through, including the sporting goods store. Why is that? What? It says I haven't searched it or something. I don't know. Pawn shop. Huh, I don't think I've ever actually investigated one in this game yet. Actually, let's all get hit over there, explore it, and then call this quits for the episode. Unless I die on the way there. Oh, there's all the zombies. Let's just get out of here. I need to head northeast now. There's a turret. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yeah, nope. I wandered into its fire. This might be my death. Which also means all of the zombies now know I'm over here. Also a skeletal dog. I've only I've not seen a skeletal dog before. Skeletons, yes, not a skeletal dog. At least the turret's killing them. I might just have to sit here and press the button until the combat ends. Uh oh. It's trying to make it calculate too fast while I'm recording. Well, once it loads back in, I think I'm going to save and call that quits for the episode, because it's probably going to take me a while to figure out how to get around that turret without dying, if I can do it at all. Without. Because there's also all these zombies to deal with, because look, they're west, they're south, and they're northwest and southwest and southeast. That turret is pulling them all into this area. So, alright everybody. That's it. See you on the